In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Metal TV on mobile. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, you want to download the Metal app from your Google Play Store or whatever app store you're using, and then you can just launch it up as an app. Now, after this, the first thing you're going to have to do is you have to sign in. So I signed in with Google because I think it's the fastest way. But of course, you can create your own account however you want, because this is completely up to you. Now, once you're in here, the first thing you're going to want to do if you're going to want to click your mobile games is you want to go down here at the very bottom and click on this icon over here which will take you to your old clips or basically your library now to be able to clip your mobile games you will have to get the recorder app and you want to click over here where it says get recorder app in the middle of your screen you'll be taken to Google Play Store, you can press the install button, and then this will install a small program, which is just 13.5 uh, megabytes, as you were able to see. And then once that's done, there we go, you can go ahead and you can go back inside Metal. And over here, as you can see, if I refresh this, there we go, this is gonna still say you can now start clipping. Now, let me actually open up this app we just installed so I can show you how this works. So if I go over here for open up this app, there we go, you'll have to essentially sync this, okay? So it says link your metal account, to easily share mobile game clips. I'm gonna continue with Google because that's the way I signed in earlier when it comes to metal. So there we go, I'm just gonna click on my account over here and I'm gonna press continue. And there we go. Now this, these two should be all synced, okay? As you can see, if I go back to this app right now, it should be all synced, there we go. It says this button is your recorder, touch the button to drag it around. So you're gonna get a button on your screen and you'll be able to start dragging it around like this. I'm dragging it uh, around right now. If it says that if you long press it, it gives you more options, so you can hide it, enable or disable your mic, access your gallery and change your settings, so like this, as you can see, these are now the things you can do. And then it says Metal starts recording as soon as you open your games, and you can just tap the button to save the last 15 seconds of gameplay. So this thing essentially works the exact same way as it does on the computer, however, you just have this little symbol next to your games, of course. And as it says down here, it says Metal can automatically detect when you start playing a game or you can manually start recording with the plus button in the Metal app. So I'm gonna do next over here and then next and then you will have to give it basically some permissions, okay? And if you give it some permissions, you'll be able to receive notifications and then you'll be able to basically just um, make that icon appear over your screen. So let me just give this, there we go. I'm gonna allow it to display over other apps this is usually going to be the most important part. So I'm going to go metal recorder and I'm going to allow, there we go. And then you can go back and then you can give it usage access as well. And then once you're done with all these permissions, you'll then grant it all the necessary permissions to actually be aware, uh, available and aware of, uh, I mean, the thing on your screen. So of course, you'll be able to start using it. Now I'm going to click OK over here. There we go. And then once you do this, there we go, it says turn on the clip widget. I'm gonna do a cancel. I'm not gonna do it right now, there we go. It says turn on the clip widget, keep metal clip widget always available on your phone to start clipping quicker. So you can do that or click on later. For me, I'm gonna do it later right now. And as you can see, you can always change this inside your phone over here, okay? So you can always change it. So at the top, if I scroll down, as you can see, it just said it's ready to record over here. And then uh, if I just tap on this, I can kind of hide it up there and then open up the app instantly. Now here I can open up the clipping widget. As I said, there we go. I'm going to allow this and then it should pop up on my screen. And if I now go out of here, you'll be able to just get it whenever. Okay. So let me show you how to actually, let me just um, open this up really quickly. Okay. So there we go. Start recording. I'm going to do start. And then as you can see, it's gonna basically share or record an app. This is what it's gonna say. So you can, of course, choose whichever game you're playing. For me, let's just do, uh, for example, over here, I'm just gonna start recording this Google Play over here, because as you can see, you can do that as well. Essentially, it doesn't have to be a game. You can 
record clips in whichever app you want to and then once you are done you'll be able to see and uh, you, uh, get your clips inside your app okay so the metal app is going to be the hub where you're going to see the clips and then your recording app is going to be the one where you can actually enable the the um, extension to actually pop up on your device okay so that's pretty simple i don't have any games installed on here on my uh, phone right now so i can't really show you how this is done but let's just go into polybuzz over here in case this will trigger it it should and then um I'm going to show you how this is done, okay? So right now it doesn't look like this is going to to trigger it because again, it's not a game over here. However, it says ready to record over here and uh, I'm guessing this should start recording if I just do it like this. There we go. I just did launch game and then, okay, yeah, I didn't find any games. That's because it's, that's why it's not working right now. Uh, it looks like you still have to have a game in here. It didn't kind of flag that as a game, but yeah, that's pretty much that. That's how it works. That's how you set it up completely. And then, uh, of course, start recording whenever you launch up a game. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.